Hello, my beautiful, glorious families. I welcome you all to today's Bible reading. But today is going to be a continuation of what we read last time, which is the book of Luke, chapter 12. So the Luke chapter 12 had a long verse, or let me see, long verses, and I had to shorten because I needed to do some commentaries on my own. So I'm going to continue from verse 22. We stopped at verse 21. So I'll continue from verse 22 and the verses are up to 59. So what I will do is I will read and then if I'm able to comment, fine. If not, I let it be so that I can cover my verses. The cure for anxiety. I need that. Then he said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, don't worry about your life, what you will eat, or about the body, what you will wear. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens. They don't sow or reap. They don't have a storeroom or a barn. But uh, yet, God feeds them. Aren't you worth more than them? <clears throat> And it is worth much more than the birds. Hmm. Lord Jesus, can any of you add one moment to his lifespan by worrying? What does worrying do to us? What does he help us to do? What does he do for us? Does he have any good thing he does for us? Nothing. If then you are not able to do even a little thing, why worry about the rest? I want to I want to be able to to help myself in a situation I don't know sometimes whatever we I don't know don't let me say it but I just want us to to be able to I would say keep yourself busy whenever things don't go your way keep yourself busy but there are things in life that doesn't worth thinking about let's just keep ourselves busy Anyhow, you can keep yourself busy. Just get busy. Get distracted. Do something different. I really want to stop worrying. Especially about what does not worth it. Sometimes what we worry about do not even worth it. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. But I don't really want to say much about that. Consider how the white flowers grow. They don't labor or spin thread. Yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendor was adorned like one of these. Hmm. We've read this chapter before, if you've been following this page. If today and his throne, oh God, if that's how God clothes the grass, which is in the feed today, and is thrown into the furnace tomorrow, how much more will he do for you? You of little faith, me, all of us of little faith, don't strive for what you, you should eat or what you should drink. And don't be anxious, for the Gentile would eagerly seek all these things. And your father knows what you need. Your father knows that you need them. 31. But seek his kingdom. And these things will be provided for you. Don't be afraid. Little flock, because your father delights to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions and give them to the poor. Make money bags for yourselves that won't grow hold. Make money bags for yourself that won't grow hold. And in an inexhaustible treasure in heaven. Where no thief comes near and no moat destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. God, may God help us. May God help us. That's all I want to say. I just want to say, may God help us. May God help us. That's verse 33. No, verse 34. Let me see. Verse 35. Another sub Ready for the master's return. 
Be ready for service and have your lamps lit. You are to be like people waiting for their master to return from the wedding banquet so that when he comes and knocks, they can open the door for him at once. Blessed will be those servants the master finds a lot when he comes. Truly, I tell you, he will get ready. Have them recline at the table. Then come and serve them. If he comes in the middle of the night, or even near dawn, and finds them alert, blessed are those servants. But know this, if the homeowner had known at what hour the thief was coming, he would not let his house be broken into. You also be ready, because the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Guess what? Even Jesus Christ told us he doesn't know when God is coming. Hey, Jesus. He doesn't know when rapture will take place. Isn't that fearful? Now, I am praying for myself that I will be able to drop all of the things of this world. All of the worries. Worries in marriage. Worries in my life. Worries in anything that concerns me. And concentrate on my eternity because that is even more important than anything. Whatever we are worried, that's why I said sometimes some worries don't even worth it. Because the world will end one day and all of these things will end. We are not taking any of these things along. You are homeless. Be homeless. Enjoy the time. It is tough. Horrible time. I can't explain it. I know it is tough, but, you know, it's a face. If Christ is not coming soon, if Christ is not coming yet, then you will be out of being homeless. There are people who, were, who used to be homeless, and now they own their beautiful mansions. So as long as you can still breathe, people, we have hope. Whatever that is worrying us does not worth it. Just take it from me. Our life is better than our worries. Let's shoot it off and trash that worries. I am talking to myself as well. I pray we'll be able to do that. Because once we can handle that, we'll be able to be fine. Fine. And shame the devil. Okay, rewards and punishments. Let me quickly watch this one. I will still do part three of this video. 41. Lord, Peter asked, are you telling this parable to us or to everyone? The Lord said, who then is the faithful and sensible, sensible manager? His master will put in charge of his household servant to give them their allotted food at the proper time. Blessed is the servant whom the master finds doing his job when he comes during um truly i tell you he will put him in charge of all his possessions but if that servant says in his heart my master is delaying his coming and start to beat the male and female servants and to drink and eat and drink and to get and get drunk that servant master will come on a day he does not expect he does not expect him. And at an hour, he does not know. He will cut him to pieces. <laughs> and design him a plate with, with unfaithful. With the unfaithful. Hey, 907. With the unfaithful. And that servant who knew his master's will and didn't prepare himself or do it will be severely beaten. But the one who did not know and did what deserved and, and did what deserve punishment will receive a light beating from everyone who from everyone who has been given much much will be required and from one from the one who has been entrusted with with much even more will be expected and i'm going to stop here this is verse verse 48 we'll stop here and continue again next time I am sorry I needed to have my commentaries. Isn't that why we are doing the Bible reading? Thank you. Bye.